I became the manager of Birmingham City and in our second season in the Premier League we are sitting in top spot. Although lads, it's only after two games. Last episode we brought in Samuel Soares on a free transfer, a backup goalkeeper as well as a big one in Thomas Party, 33 year old CDM, 84 overall. On the other hand we let go of Christian Bialik to Liverpool as well as Pike Soing Hu to Fulham. This episode we conclude the summer transfer window. We also play away in the Carabao Cup to start off the episode. To away to Barrow, where we can use the second team. Before then three days later heading to Liverpool. Away from home, a very very difficult matchup. We'll probably also cruise through the month of September. Where there are only three games so far. But of course lads, this episode's big task is to spend those 60 million right. If we make the right transfers, this can really put us in a good spot for the season. But if we spend the money wrong, then we could be in big, big trouble. And assessing our squad, what we certainly need is a better left back. Because we don't even have left backs on the bench. We have a, an atrocious squad depth. Certainly, a couple of players need to be added to this team. We even have two goalkeepers on the bench at this moment in time. It's really not that great. First though, before doing any business, we play an EFL Cup game, we simulate that. With the second team, away to better, we should actually get a win here. But we lose on penalties, I mean that's an embarrassment. <laughs> I'm not even gonna lie, we lose on penalties. How many penalties were there missed as well? I mean, atrocious, atrocious penalty shoot. I, uh, I've never seen anything like it. Haynes scored the equalizer for us, Telford gave Barrow the lead, but so many penalties missed, I've never seen anything like it. So lads, hear me out, hear me out. I have found a superstar for the centre-back spot. A man that we actually need because our defence is a little bit dodgy still. And even though this man we are going to go in for is already 33 years of age, he's still an absolute world beater, 86 overall. And as you can see, of course, it's going to be Antonio Rüdiger joining. Our biggest signing yet after signing Thomas Party in this transfer window. It is a new centre back now. He comes in from Borussia Dortmund of all teams. His contract was expiring as well. So we got a bargain deal on him. 26 million. An A grade. But with that our budget has gone down to 29 million. Although very important signing. Now hear me out lads. For the left back spot. I want to go in for a Premier League proven player. A player whose contract was expiring once again. I don't even know what to offer as a wage, so... Don't want to get kicked out. Maybe 70k. And he accepts it, actually. Maybe that was too much, but I don't care at this point. Because we've gotten our new left back. A man who can at least compete with Buchanan. It's Ryan Sessegnon's time to shine. He comes from Chelsea as a former Tottenham player. For 14.5 million, as I said, his contract was expiring. Okay, so let's replace Buchanan with Sessegnon. And then, of course, Creswell with Rudiger. So, Rudiger is now the center back alongside Beraldo. What a duo, though. Creswell will still get his game time, of course. He's now the first substitute on this bench. Much better bench with, of course, Creswell and Buchanan on it. You know what, boys? I actually like the look of this team. A solid back line now. That was where we really lacked... Sessegnon has still a lot of room to grow. 26, 79 overall. Svilay Nadi is making me a bit, giving me a bit of headaches, but still, we have uh, recruited Soares there. 24, 74. The front line looks really good, but we don't have a lot of options really from the bench, on the wings especially, where Neverton or Diao get injured. Diao up to an 84, by the way, at 20 years of age. Game-wise, we are starting off the episode. Against Liverpool at Anfield. A very good test for our new backline. Here is his first impression. Antonio Rüdiger. The flags are out at Anfield. Liverpool are ready for Birmingham City. Let's see if we are ready too. They have John Duran up front. But uh, Struikens makes a good tackle here. Wharton. Neverton loses the ball though. Now Neverton, good, good action here. Very good tackle. It's Neverton, but he gets taken off the ball. Now we have Thomas Party, of course. Good ball into Stansfield. It's Jay Stansfield with the chance. It's Diao. We 
a 1-0 up? What did the goalkeeper do in this situation? I don't know, but I don't care because Asande Yaudiaudne scored. Great ball from party into Sandfield. Block shot and then Yao into an empty net. Ellison stands there like a cloud. Liverpool will want to react, of course. We are the league leaders, of course. Let's not forget that. But now Salah wants to change something at that. It's Mo Salah. Mo Salah. Good intervention by Neverton. Neverton does a lot of defensive work. Vandenberg, I don't even know these guys. Mayer. McConnell, I, I don't know most of these. It's Clark. Did Liverpool send out their third team? It's Lima, that guy I know. But now to run. And Svila collects. We've played a very good first 45 minutes here at Anfield. Let's hope that this can continue like that. What is the Licht? With a bad touch here. Now Ryan Sessegno into water. We can throw this game very well so far. It's Troikens into party. Now Stansfield. Jay Stansfield with a chance. Goals. We are 2-0 up Jay Stansfield. And now they do a duck celebration or something. I don't even know. We are 2-0 up Birmingham City. Could grab a shock win here at Anfield. Mohamed Salah now into McDonnell or McConnell I mean if Liverpool play with those guys it's normal that they don't win anything but still McConnell here with a good action gets taken off the ball ultimately though by Beraldo now Sesenio with a lot of space can he look for Stansfield he finds him but now Stansfield on his own the run made by Stroikens, but Sandsfield goes on his own and hits the crossbar. Nearly scores here. Now Walton. Stansfield looks for Stroikens. Stroikens with the chance. Stroikens slops the ball over the net. Creswell now comes on for party because I just want to save that result here. Now Greenwood. What? I, I, I don't know if that's this Greenwood of Man United, but what does he do at Liverpool? Oh well, we are already in added time. We are about to win that game here at Anfield. Don't let them shoot. Don't let, don't concede a goal here. No, we don't. And we keep a clean sheet. Brilliant game, brilliant performance. Anfield is not happy, but we are delighted. We, of course, confirm our top spot. And as you can see, we are the only team that has won all three games. For now, though, we close down the transfer window. Birmingham City have done all their business. Next up, we face Crystal Palace with a bit of a rotational side as some of the first team players are, of course, very tired. Can we get a win still against Crystal Palace? No, we get our first loss of the season. Our good run of formants right here, right now. Munoz and Ivan Nielsen score for Palace. In other news, our third string goalkeeper, Frederick Hills, will go on a six-month loan deal to Nottingham Forest. Okay, boys, I give another try to our second team, but this time I play myself. We start off this game of, with uh, an attack to Southampton. It's Saikumara holding off Cresswell in the penalty box. Still Saikumara, a very, very technical player, but Cresswell does really well here. Thomas Party, of course, still plays, but most of the other players are, of course, rotational like second fiddle but they need i i, I want to get a feel of them and here palacio does really well once again southampton on the attack but once again Presswell is there i tell you what he can play football he brings the ball out of defense still Cresswell gives it into killing choi a lot of open space there for george hall can he go all the way it's george hall great save but offside no not offside that's a fifa glitch it's Diao, once again, delivering here, coming in clutch, Asan Diao Diao Ney, 1-0, Birmingham City. Corner kick now, it's George Hall, Ethan Laird, it's 2-0. That came out of nothing, it's Ethan Laird with one of his very, very few goals. However, just a few seconds after scoring the second, they have a chance to come back through a penalty, and it's Saikumara who gives them one back. Now though, in the 60th minute, we have a lot of open space. Haynes should have come on here. And it's three against the goalkeeper. Haynes 
Killing Joy, what do we do there? Oh my god. How have we butchered this? I mean, it's three on one. How can you butcher such a situation? Haynes gives it to Killikshoy, who controls it instead of shooting, and then controls it again, and yeah, does very, 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 very poor. If that ends up costing us, I'll be fuming on the touchline, but oh well, now comes Haynes once again. He did well in this situation as well, but now a bad ball. And oh my god, in the 89th minute, of course, that's the game. They get another pan here, the Southamptonians, and they score another goal, it's to all. How was that possible? We absolutely bottled this. We absolutely bottled this. This is just horrendous. And the game is done to all. I'm, I'm just... I'm fuming. I'm absolutely fuming. If you enjoyed this series and the grind with Birmingham City, then please consider dropping a like on the video and subscribing to the channel. One last game this episode. That's San Andrews against Manchester City of all clubs. Here we are then. Look at those fancy cutscenes here. Let's take on the citizens then. We've all we've got. We've our first team of course. It's Thomas Party immediately into Diao. Can we create a very early chance here? It's Diao gets just about taken off the ball. City also play with, just like Liverpool, uh, with their second team. Kind of. Bob, O'Reilly, Peron. What are those guys? Is this a Carabao Cup match with Katongo? I mean... Is this a glitch? I don't know. But I'm not gonna complain. At least there is uh, Erling Haaland, of course. But now, O'Reilly and we are already behind. I should shut my mouth. That would be much better. Careful not to concede a second. Grealish into Haaland. We can't give him that much space, but we get it away somehow. It was, I think, Rüdiger. He knows how to handle Haaland. Still, though, it is Perron, I, he hits the pose and ends Villa with a great save. Haaland again now. It's Peraldo against Haaland, still Haaland, goes through somehow. But Rudiger gets a foot in here, yeah, I think Haaland tried a cheeky power shot. Neverton looks for Stansfield, Stansfield turns his defender. Now it's Jay Stansfield's time to shine, gives it to Stroikens! One all, we fight back against the citizens. Once again, now City on the charge. It's Jack Grealish, but Laird does really well. Now Diao, we get another big chunk of space here down the red, right side. It's Diao, Diao, it's a corner kick. Now Haaland, careful. It's Haaland against Rudiger. Still the citizens and with Haaland. Haaland now, Laird gets a foot in, I love this guy. It's a corner kick to the citizens, Jack Grealish. Into Kovacic, but Wharton does really well then though. He's alone and he loses the ball, it's Kovacic in a critical spot, it's 2-1 to City. We lose the ball because we don't support Wharton. And then Kovacic smashes it in. Stansfield. He created the first goal. Can he create again? It's Jay. Jay, still Jay. Great save, Ederson. I have decided to go a little bit more offensive, bringing on Kilikshoy for Wharton. Now George Hall with a little bit of space here. George Hall runs into open space. Can he find somebody? In the middle, it's Kilikshoy, but another big save by Ederson. Now... Can we go on a final counter? Maybe, no, not like that, but there is space there. We're for Stansfield! And an incredible save by Ederson. We nearly got the equalizer at the death. Look at that shot and that big save. It is 2-1 defeat to City, but we hold our own here. So after six games, we have come back down to earth. Sixth spot still, a very, very respectable start to the season here for Birmingham. But anyway, next episode, we will continue the journey with the Blues. Until then, it's been Rebuild Sombrero. I'm out.